Hi, this is Nancy Williams. I was a professor for Mike Sweeney from the time he got to Logan until he left. He was the best department head I ever had. He started out as a just a regular professor and, and advanced to department head because he clearly had what he needed in order to do it. And he was well, well liked. So he was by far the best. And I got to be a good friend of his and Carolyn's. My youngest daughter was, I think, a year older than David. So anyway, we had common interests that way. He was a delightful person to work with and, and very easy to talk to. And his door was permanently open. If you know him, you know that he was just, he was open and friendly and put you at ease. So he was always that, he was that way with students. He was that way with faculty. He was that way with anybody that came by, really. We didn't have any, I don't think he had any horrible people that came by, but at least I didn't see them, but other people might have. He was just a good, good guy. He could be straight too. I don't want you to think he was just nutsy or always being funny because he wasn't. It wasn't a forced thing at all. It's just his nature. He likes people. He is really interested in them. And he asks students, especially the kind of questions that they're hoping a professor will ask them. I remember one time when I was, I was really feeling de demoralized which didn't happen that often either. Everyone has a couple of students over 20 years or so that don't get along with them particularly. And this was one of those students. And I was, I was talking to him about it after class one day and I was just really bummed about it. And he's, he said something to me that made like, I know what that's like. It makes me so mad when it happens. I'm sorry it happened to you. It has happened to me, which I just couldn't believe. But he said, he said, you know how they all feel about you, don't you? And I said, you know, right now, I don't. I don't. Maybe they do all feel about me the way this one does. And he said, no. He said, they love you. And I just, I said, what? He said, your students love you. And I thought, that's the only time a department head has ever said something like that to me. And it made all the difference in the world. This is like my brother dying. And I have lost a brother. So I knew whereof I spoke. My youngest brother died when he was 42. And I thought that losing Mike feels like losing Ellen. It was just one of the hardest things I've done. And it's not like you knew... I knew that Alan was dying too. I knew that Mike would go, but you still hope some miracle will happen and they will recover. So I am still, when I talk about it right now, I'm tearing up. It's just awful. I'll get over it, but I will never get over, thank heaven, uh, being his friend. He was just a wonderful, wonderful person. He came back one time and uh, for about three days and with Carolyn and we spent that long weekend together with them. And that was wonderful. It was just an unanticipated treat. And on that, uh, on, on the pictures that whoever put them together, I don't know all the pictures of, of Mike with his friends. There's two pictures there of him with us and Carolyn. And uh, that's the last time I saw him. That's the last time. And you can see he just, he looks, he was just classic Mike there. That was just a happy, holy, good person. That's how he was. We lost a lot when he went home.